Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Growing Together. Nothing like that San Sequoia winter, am I right? No, no one. <laughs> no, literally, it looks dry, and there's no leaves on the trees, and you would think it would be cold, but it's actually pretty good weather. It's sunny and warm, and all of a sudden, I just turn into like a weather woman because I'm like starting the episode off <laughs> with the weather, but it's important because we're having our twins' birthday out here in this weather, and I don't want anyone to say like, oh my gosh, it's winter time, it's cold, they're probably freezing, but today is the twins' birthday. I can't agree with Kenneth's face enough like do you see how happy he is i know it's because he's like on the grill and he's just feeling good about himself and stuff but i am so thrilled so here is our purple themed birthday party now i have ranted and raved about this lot this is the san sequoia family center created by softer haze there is a link in the description down below to download it it's not going to be found in the gallery because it's only through the creators download through the tray files the girls are already aged up and i already gave them a makeover i am like four thousand steps ahead because I didn't want to show them blowing out the candles and stuff and then they age up and then we have to make them over and it's just no I wanted to keep the time moving and essentially they would already be toddlers at their birthday anyway so now we can all just enjoy cake so we are all going to take a piece and I should probably have everyone kind of make a little bit of a group here um so let's get the girls we'll get them a piece of cake and then I'll just have everyone here do this. Uh, we'll just do it like this. That's enough. And then <laughs> take a piece together. Hopefully this is enough cake for everyone. We still had a couple of guests that we had to call and make sure that they were here. The girls are so adorable. I have to go over their outfits and everything. I am just so obsessed with them. But look at them. They look just alike. Yes, they have the same hair. This beautiful cake that we got made. I mean, come on. We went all out. Our Lola also made some elephant cupcakes. So we even have those for our guests too we have some bubbles here dad just made some hamburgers and then i think we're going to actually have him make some um lemonade as well for the drinks or barbie can do it no let's just have um can it do that Although the girl's birthday is a part of like the biggest thing in here, I know you all are probably like, why is Minnie in the household? Minnie, after I stopped filming the last episode, actually asked if she could move in with us. So you all know that I really want, um, you know, Jenny, which is uh, Barbie's mom and Chris Santo, which is her dad. I really wanted them to come to the States in general anyway. So they're supposed to come here. Why does she have a romantic relationship with her son? Oh my God, that is weird. Quirk revealed messy eater again. Kenny is a little extra messy around food time. Toddlers who are messy eaters get both themselves and the high chair dirtier quicker. All right. Well, Kenny already unlocked the messy eater quirk, which she was a messy eater as a baby. So you think you're really funny, Sims. <laughs> really freaking funny. Does Jorlin have any? Oh my gosh. So Jorlin has the good appetite quirk. Toddlers with this quirk love to eat, which can make mealtime easier. But be careful. These little ones have been known to eat food off of the floor, even if it's spoiled. Oh my goodness gracious. So I have a messy eater and a good appetite <laughs> what is going on so barbie's dad and her mom are supposed to be moving to the states they want everyone to be here in san sequoia essentially or at least somewhere nearby so many i think just did not want to fly all the way back to sulani and live there for a little bit and then fly all the way back to san sequoia she really enjoyed her time here and really just doesn't want to do all that traveling i mean it is a really long flight so she's going to stay here with a little bit of items that she has and and then when her parents hopefully soon will be ready to move over here, which they they can always live with us or Auntie Joy Lee, then they'll bring her stuff. But it's a lot of traveling for her. And she's like, I'll stay for a little bit. You know, let's see how it goes. They're supposed to be moving here anyway. I can stay and take care of the kids and all of that stuff. Here is Carlo Jr. Yes, he is a toddler now, as he should be. Ruby is technically older than them, so she probably will age in, as a child faster. But I have aging on long for everyone. A lot of you were like, Angel needs to divorce Carlo because we have this little tea on the side with him being like the black sheep of the family. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to really dip into it too much. But I could always, I guess, play rotation. I don't know. Maybe that could be a thought. I could play in their household. Is that something you all would like to see? Like, do you want to play with the whole family or do you just want to focus on Barbie's family? Well, the party is basically ending. So we're going to start this celebration sequence and get this kind of started really quick. 
So Barbie's gonna let off the streamers. All right. Happy birthday once again, girls. It wasn't even like an official birthday. I just marked it on a calendar. And the flower bunny never showed up. The flower bunny met us at our house, but never showed up. I'm so mad. So our party lasted till about eight o'clock, which is cool. We're gonna get home, get the girls ready for bed. And oh my gosh, is that a ghost? New family dynamic strict. When it comes to Kenneth and Kenny, a sense of order seems to abound. As the younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member, often meeting the older Sim's high expectations. Would I say that Kenneth and Kenny have a strict family dynamic? Now, I kind of feel like she's a little bit too young to have this kind of dynamic. And I don't really want to bring this into the game yet. But I'm going to because I feel like it could be a way of her being rebellious. And we're going to get into that. You know why? Because... I made Kenny independent because she was learning at such a faster rate than her sister, Joy Lynn. So I just thought to myself, like, she's probably very independent, doesn't really like to take orders, and she's just her own boss kind of thing. And I didn't know that that would kind of play a role into the dynamic here. I really feel like that's where they're basing this off of because I don't know where that will come from. So maybe Kenny's like, I don't want to potty train right now. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I don't care. But they're like, come on, you got to use the potty. And I personally don't feel like changing diapers. So I'm starting this right away. So, yeah. But they both have the life milestone where we celebrated a birthday. So it shows that. And also we learn how to walk. Kenny was a top-notch infant. And because of that, she actually started movement, communication, and thinking at level two, I believe. Or I think thinking was one and she just hit level two. But you gain a little bit of that toddler skill if you raise a really good infant. And then looking at Jory Lynn... She also has the same movement, communication, and thinking level too. Joy Lynn was also a top-notch infant. And she's also a really clingy little bu -bu. She's clingy because she was such a needy baby. Do you all remember how clingy she was? Is <laughs> she was so clingy not clingy but she was just very needy you know uh had a hard time sleeping at night and all that wanted to be held when she was sleeping so i kind of played into their infant traits now here is their room i did film a makeover of this but that video would have been like four minutes so i was like that's kind of pointless so <laughs> I don't want to waste your time for four minutes. So here's the room, you know, and it doesn't really take that long to just show you really quick. And it's so cute. I kept their little handprints up. I do have, a, you know, some books, a little nice little imaginative corner here. I'm all for that. Like, oh, gosh, I just want their room to feel like a playroom. I wanted to add a play tent here, but it was way too big and it just was an eyesore. So we have this dollhouse that Barbie made with some old cardboard from the boxes that she got from these new Ikea beds. And... <laughs> <laughs> she um made them you know she is an artist so she made them a little bit of a, a dollhouse here i would read to them but i'm just so tired i i'm tired barbie's tired they had a great party oh my goodness this is so adorable okay good night girls we love you let's go here and let's have kenneth just like come here and you know you know give, just give a little come on wait 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 here we go kiss yes i love you babe that was such a great birthday oh we're the best parents ever <laughs> <laughs> I love this. She's like, come here. Well, now that we don't have as many guests in the house, do you want to just like help me take this dress off? <laughs> Let me <laughs> stop. Look, okay. Um, so we're just like, we're, we're just, you know, we're just. <laughs> I'm pointing in the direction. You know, we have that big happy family aspiration. I'm just saying. Kenny hates bedtime. Kenny really resists having to go to bed. Toddlers with the hates bedtime quirk tend to wake up shortly after falling asleep and will often ask their caregiver for various things to avoid sleeping. They also won't choose to sleep on their own until they're very, very tired. Lola is going to read to her. She's like, oh, are you awake, baby? Oh, she fell asleep. She went to sleep on her own. Okay, so then Lola doesn't have to do that. Good. Okay. No, don't wake her up. Please don't wake her up. Don't wake her up. Just tuck her in again. She went to sleep on her own. Well, Kenneth just woke up from that. He's chilling. He's actually going to check on some gigs right now because I really need to make some money. And the reason why is because now that Lola is staying here, you know, this is going to be her little, you know, her space. And, um, ooh, let me, 
choose one of these really quick. I'm not trying to bore you, but this is funny. Company known for fun party games seeking experienced game developers to help make a fun party game. To truly embrace the culture we are trying to promote, you will be required to hone your comedy skills, partake in clown training, and start a surprise public improv session. Failure to do so will result in a lackluster product. We cannot emphasize this enough. Oh wait, this is the programming position. Never mind, you'll be fine. Yeah, we're gonna take that. Programming level nine is definitely a challenge and he has to focus, but with the family gone in a way he'll be able to do that and I'll have him get started on that but he's actually really hungry um, I'm gonna have him just have some cereal he's he's just like my husband middle of the night and he's like you know what I don't I'm hungry I'm just gonna get a bowl of cereal big bowl of cereal that's good enough for him <laughs> I love them I love them so much who's funky right now is it Barbie or oh it's Kenneth it's okay if you smell like onions baby I love you like I want to be on your chest right now. Kenneth is going to wake up. I love this man. I love him so much. He's going to take a shower really quick. With these parts, I feel like we should be able to, can we upgrade this or anything right now? That would be a nice surprise. Water recycler. Oh, so now we have water utility, self-cleaning, sturdy faucets. Let's do sturdy faucets. Let's do sturdy faucets so that <laughs> this doesn't break as often because he is so tired of fixing this. He's going to upgrade it. Yeah, you got to make your living, you know, your living arrangements better. So, oh my gosh, Barbie has class in like an hour. She's going to come up here. Oh, you just need a little snuggle. And let's have, um, she definitely needs some breakfast or something. Oh man, her hygiene is so low. Oh man, let's just brush your teeth and stuff. And hopefully she can just get a quick bite to eat. You know, just something really, nothing that you have to cook though. Hmm, let me see. Breakfast, where's the acai bowl? There we go. Hey, baby. Let's just wash our hands after we, you know, let's just, let's do this like twice. I must say, this feels like a little bit of a, a break from infants. Infants will make you want to pull your hair out, but having toddlers is definitely a little bit different. Like the girls are both sleeping. I know Kenny, Kenny hates bedtime, but she sure is sleeping in that bed. But let's have Barbie enjoy some breakfast here. And what is she doing? Oh, she's gonna, no, no. I was afraid you were gonna do that, Barbie. Oh, handiness level five. We love to see it. Okay. He, she needs to use the bathroom now? Okay. All right, baby, you can jump in the shower if you want to. She's like, I'm going to be late for class. Oh, man. Oh, what quirk is this? Oh, Barbie's going to be late for class. I'm just going to have her go. She's just going to have to be stinky and have to use the bathroom, but she'll be okay. Bye, babe. I have to go have to run. All right, you sure you don't want me to take you? She's like, no, it's fine. I'll just I'll go. Quirk revealed early riser. Kenny seems to naturally rise with the sun. Early riser toddlers are more likely to wake up when the sun comes up. So as long as they've already gotten enough rest. Not only is she an early riser, she also hates bedtime. Make it make sense. She is trying to be complicated on purpose. I swear she is. So let me just come over here and let's do parenting Ooh, i want, definitely want to teach her how to do stuff let's ask her how her <gasps> no not the bills going out Ooh. oops please we we don't have enough money for these bills <laughs> no how i was oh my gosh we can't afford this i have an idea lola has a good relationship with jorley right we're just gonna have to ask her for some money like, please, they're struggling right now. I just moved in there with them. I'm sorry. We just need a little bit of money, honey. Their lights went out. What? Their lights went out? I don't think they would ask her. And I feel like they would be way too embarrassed too. But I think, you know, Lola's going to make it happen. I can't cheat this up. Like, their lights literally went out. And we weren't being responsible. I totally forgot we had bills for a second. <laughs> I forgot we have bills. Anybody else? Oh, man. Okay. Jordan, okay. She's like, hey, auntie, what are you doing here? Oh, no nothing i'm just chilling she's mad though she is mad because she she doesn't want this for them basically kind of ask for a large loan okay she's like no what's wrong so they really they're i'm gonna give it to you thank you two thousand she's like no don't worry you don't have to pay it back you, you don't worry about it at all oh my gosh and look at the way that the sim gods work y'all we just borrowed two thousand from auntie and look barbie's painting just sold Literally, someone wants to purchase it. We didn't even have to ask her. Here you go, Minnie. Try to pay it back when you can. Okay. Oh, my God. I love you so much. Oh, my God. I love you so much. 
Okay, well, how much is he? Okay, I'll have to wait till she comes back. We're definitely going to pay that back. Let's go ahead and pay the bills. Let's just give her a compliment, flatter her. This is what she likes. We would give her a hug, but Tita does not like the affection. She, she That's her preference. Like, she just doesn't like affection. Let's compliment the outfit that we've seen, like, 6,000 times. I knew this house was going to be too much for them. I knew, blah, 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 blah. like, no, let them. It's okay. They have to live and learn. It's okay. Like, they would have figured it out. They would have figured it out. It's okay. You know? Um, but we went ahead, we paid this, so let's just go, um, we're gonna cook together. Oh no, Kenny is hungry. No, 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 no. Okay, um, I need him to give food to Kenny, and let's please wake her up with some, let's give her some cereal. You can be just like daddy, you love some cereal. And Jor is sleeping through it all. I'm gonna let her sleep. I'm going to let her sleep until she comes back. Barbie is back home. Good job, Barbie. I'm so proud of you. And how much is it selling for? 717 simoleons. So I guess we, you know, we probably would have still needed some help. <laughs> we still would have needed some help there. Let's invite Princess over and have her help us with our homework. I've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not so sure. Oh my gosh, are you serious, Angel? No, literally, are you serious right now? Um... I don't think it's a good idea because you already kind of complain about my uncle. And I feel like that's what Barbie's generally going to say. Like, she's not meaning any harm by it, but she's like, I would really think you just did, you decide for yourself. Um, decide for myself. That's too hard. Well, sorry. Oh, my gosh. This worked out so perfectly. It's kind of like it's so realistic, you know, that now princess is over and her mom was over she's like oh mom what are you doing here you know but we're gonna do our homework together look at this cutie pie we have toddlers it's it's just mind-blowing to me like we literally have toddlers she's so cute in her little crocs she's gonna ask what everything is like what's that what's that she's a real thinker so i have her clicking around saying what's that i'm gonna have her ask this too I'm gonna, she's gonna be like what's this what's this what's wrong are you okay Hey, I got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is? Oh my gosh, look at these cute little girls. <laughs> I love them. They're just playing dolls. You know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here, do you mind if I hang out for a bit? How has your day been? What is it? What did she give you, Barbie? Oh, she gave us a postcard. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Barbie is high maintenance now. And so like just any little thing she kind of freaks out about. And this is one of the character changes that we kind of like embraced with her. And I felt like was very fitting because when I became mom, I just started to get so like out of whack with things. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have this to do. This is this and this. And oh, Aubrey is a simfluencer. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Wow, don't be mean to her. Aubrey's telling us, like, girl, calm down. You see this? Your life? People would love to see this. So many moms could relate. We're going to complain about having the worst day ever. And she's going to say, so many people could relate to you. You should probably think about vlogging or just blogging, whatever, like something like that. We're like, thank you for making my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. She's like, yeah, like, just get you a camera and just start talking to it. Show how, like, being a young mom is hard. And if you don't stop being mad at her, Barbie, stop. <laughs> I don't know. We might think about that, you know? We could kind of just show our little mom life, you know, how we do things. She really needs to do this homework, though. I know that much. She really needs to do this homework. So let's cancel this out. She literally has not even had time with the girls today really that much. And she is, oh gosh, she's exhausted. Okay, Princess is leaving, so we can't even do homework with her. And Jorlin, trusting the universe. The world is a good place filled with good people. Jorlin is happy to call some of them family. Now, I'm going to adopt the girls as our care dependents just because we'll be able to, like, do more with them as far as parenting is concerned. I'll do that, too, with Kenny when she gets up. But I want her to teach her how to say please and thank you. I feel like the, this is where Lola comes into play. But she's so angry, and this is going to last for five hours. She is just in such a bad mood. Kenneth, meanwhile, is jogging and he just ran into Angel on the street. So he's just, you know, chilling, cruising. <laughs> he's good. Look at her like gaining all the lessons from her Lola. She's like, make sure you say please and thank you. And I'm going to use Lola to my best ability while she's here because I know once our parents get here, she may move in with them possibly, potentially. So, yeah. 
Um, let me see. So that's 1,211 that we just made. And now she's feeling inspired. So at least she's just out of that yucky mood. Ooh, Jerilyn reached level three communication. She can now talk. We'll get time with the girls soon. Look, she's going to do her homework right here next to the girls. So she's still trying to like pay attention to them. We may not even go to school tomorrow. We're going to take a day off <laughs> because that's, that's what we need, right? Oh, not the oven breaking in the middle of us oh man that really stinks okay kenneth you're gonna have to fix this see i was just gonna she was trying to make the girls some chicken adobo <laughs> now they're gonna be hungry okay we just need to go ahead and we'll just give them a ham and cheese sandwich i know it seems like i'm just using lola but she is happy to do everything for her grandkids great grandkids at that barbie you're so tense why won't you go take a bath or something oh my gosh not this being broken too this is going to send barbie over she's like oh my gosh i give up he's still on this and she is just so mad she is going to come in here i think she's gonna yell at him and i'm only doing this because everything's so perfect with them like it can't always be perfect and literally barbie's been stressed all day even though she's happy right now lola was trying to make a chicken adobo for the girl she's not really yelling at him in my eyes but i just feel like she's just yelling and so he's gonna get off this computer real quick even though he's doing work to her she's just like get off the computer and just help because i'm just freaking out oh is he coming over to her he was about to sit next to her hold on wait i'm gonna have him do that no that is so sweet he was about to sit next to her like babe come here talk about it like you never yell and stuff are you okay she's like i'm just so stressed because i don't know um i'm gonna have him apologize and what oh my god that is so that is so funny listen i'm gonna fix it all okay take a deep breath you never get so upset like this it's okay it's all right don't worry okay come here just relax i'm gonna fix everything it's okay if the girls eat a ham and cheese sandwich for dinner don't feel bad about yourself trust me i've had less before okay you're doing a great job and you're a great mom how about you go paint you know and relax a little bit so he's gonna fix everything you know and dad of the year here and you know lola's keeping calm you know she's fine she's just like all right everything's you know fine so let's let her out and let her out too and we'll clean everything up and the girls will just chill barbie will come over here and she'll do a little bit of painting oh i just got the best of her for a second but she's okay everything's all right and lola's gonna cook this chicken adobo and it'll be ready for tomorrow morning i know it seems like we eat chicken adobo a lot but i'm making a point here i cook chicken adobo at least once every week so <laughs> Like it's they just eat a lot of chicken adobo i don't know what to tell you okay she really has to use the bathroom though can she use this by herself without getting help oh she can because she's independent awesome okay she can use that and then she also is so tired kenny you're so tired you slept like all day let's tire jor out but let's have her like play with her toys play with her dolls um eating oh my gosh eating for two how come we never got a little cute notification or did she do that while i was I wasn't looking, was I? We celebrated a birthday the other night and now we are on to another one. I think she needs to go tell someone. <laughs> she needs to go to Kenny. Um, can she tell him the news? Share big news. That's why maybe she was so cranky and her hormones were all out of whack. I mean, granted it was only for a day, but let's just pretend that that was like at least like a week or something. So you all wanna know why I was so upset today. <laughs> This is such The Sims. I cannot believe it. Oh my gosh. I can't with this. I can't. Oh, she's excited. Second trimester in 22 hours. We're literally pregnant. I'm obsessed with that. Witness inappropriate behavior. There is a time and place for everything, but is abhorrent to display such behavior in front of a proper Sim. I forgot that Lola is proper, so she probably is like a baby. <laughs> that means y'all were. Y'all did that when I was. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Look, 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 we are grown. On to a more peaceful part of this episode. The family decided to just get out the house, go to the San Sequoia Family Center, and just do something a little different. Enjoy the day. Barbie does have class today, and honestly, I'm not going to have her go. She just needs a day, okay? She just needs a day. Everything's complete. She submitted her term paper early. We'll do the presentation later at home. But she just found out that she's pregnant, and she's so excited, and so is Kenny as well. I mean, she is elated, okay? She just wanted to do something different, and Kenneth being the amazing husband that he 
he is is just like hey like I'll try a painting class with you too so right now they're in here painting relaxing we have the girls who are kind of like exploring in the little toddler area here they are going to play in the play tent I wanted one so badly for the house so it's so nice that they could just play in here together yes they have matching outfits <laughs> so here they go they're so adorable oh my goodness Kenny has the played with others for the first time milestone which she's basically playing with her sister and I wonder if Jorlin should have gotten the same right Jorlin had her first nightmare which I didn't even realize and she learned to talk so they're reaching milestones that I just think is just so nice and I'm so happy that I'm playing along because we have more time with them they will not age up until 26 days so that should give us enough time to make them some top-notch toddlers and they don't have to be perfect but I do want them to be you know like okay Minnie is here also and we ran into Jorley and Carlo which is hilarious because they're always ragging on each other but here we go we see them you know Lola has to get in her game we could play some symbols but I'm actually gonna have her do puzzles instead anyone else want to make a puzzle with me i can't wait till the girls turn into like real kids so that we could like play puzzles and stuff so let's choose a puzzle let's do something little since this is my first one i'll do a 50 piece landscape puzzle Ooh, gilbert gardens warmy beach let's do we gotta do the zan sequoia bridge we have to we're here so we have to do it um i wish other people were here to do this with me but here she goes she's making her little puzzle i love this can he join in Let's work on this puzzle. So Kenneth is going to leave this painting area. And um, oh man, he could have sold this. Hold on, Kenneth. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sell this first. Oh, look at this painting. No, Barbie was supposed to come back. She wasn't supposed to leave to go to school. It's okay. I mean, I guess it's good, a good thing that she went because technically she'll be back at like 10.55. So she only has one class today. So I guess it's good that she went. Oh, wow. Look at Carlo joining the puzzle because Kenneth is joining. I love this. Let's sell this to a collector. So Barbie can do that over here. And look at this. Look at them making a puzzle together. I love this. Wow, you all really made a nice puzzle. Okay, let's frame the puzzle for sure. I want to keep that. That is so nice. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another 50 piece puzzle and we will do a warmy beach paradise. That's awesome. Do we get any skills when we're doing puzzles? Logic, we gain logic skills. That's impressive, impressive, I love that. Okay, let me come over here. Barbie is going to sell her painting and then I'll have her come into this little kid's area and play as the monster here for her girl. She's gonna scare them. <laughs> All right, so we made a couple extra bucks even while we were here. So that's awesome, right? Like, now she's going to say, where are my girls? Where are my girls? Look at her. Boo! <laughs> I love it. Play as the monster some more. That's fun. The kids are too scared to play monster right now. <laughs> Guess that scared them a little too much, Mom. Joy did not think that was funny at all. Like, Mommy, I did not like that. I actually think she's going to kick her um, because she's so bold like that. No, that was not funny. Come here. <gasps> Jor, girl. Oh, she is going to get in trouble. Not her kick. Just birthing a new family dynamic. New family dynamic. Difficult. I don't want her to be difficult because I just think it's a one-time thing. But if we have her act this way again, then maybe. But Jorah is sweet. She just was really, really scared. And rightfully so, you know. So let's just be very calm and just ask her not to be mean. No, you can't be mean. We're not hugging it out for sure because she literally got physical. And uh, yeah, pick on someone your own size, Jor. Jor, we're going to go. We're going to go home. Good girl. Oh, good girl. <laughs> Look at my girl. She's like, you're right, mommy. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, sweet girl. See, I told you. I told you she, she was okay. Mommy loves you, girls. Oh, my goodness. Oh, new family dynamic supportive. So does Kenny and Barbie have a supportive family dynamic? Of course. I'm just going to say yes because it's something that I feel like, sure, of course we support our baby. But, yeah, that difficult one, I definitely didn't want. I definitely didn't want. Oh, I love that big kiss that they give them. That's so realistic. I think now what I want to do is have a nice little reflective walk with Barbie. Now, she does experience, you know, lots of just anxiety and just oh my gosh in that moment with Jorlin just oh my gosh I have Barbie taking a reflective walk just so that she can 
kind of have that moment to herself. I mean, she just found out she was pregnant not too long ago. The girls are growing. We have so much going on right now and so much to think about. I don't even think we're letting the fact that we're having another kid process. Like, I feel like I'm still not really processing this because it just kind of happened and I knew that we you, we know in the beginning of the episode I tried for a baby because she really wanted to have a child which I'm going to pin that again um repin it so that it doesn't disappear because she does want to have a big happy family and we're gonna move and we're gonna grow I just at least want to play with them until all the kids are older you know look at her she's reflecting on everything I don't want this episode to be too long, but I hope you all enjoyed this. You know, our little glimpse of toddler life and how chaotic this could be. And we're also having another baby. I cannot believe it. I wonder if we're having a boy or a girl. Should we do an ultrasound? Ooh. <laughs> we'll probably do that in the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next episode. All right. Peace out.